Imphal River breaches in many areas. People keep vigil throughout night as rivers cross danger mark. A team of National Disaster Management Authority inspects earth cracks in Kalikola Basti, says deforestation responsible for the cracks. Chief Minister Birain appeals to encroachers on river banks to vacate before government evicts them. And Manipur observes World Blood Donor Day. Health Minister Jayant Kumar appeals to people to donate blood. And a very warm welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News with me, Janish Kaslival, and I will be giving you all the latest news updates. Now, people hit by flood kept vigil throughout the night as the Imphal River is running above the danger mark in different areas of the valley to prevent further damage. The flood water has eroded the banks of Imphal River in several places, creating panic among the people. About 50 feet stretch of the bank collapsed at Kairang Pangal Umang Kunjin Lekai in Imphal East District. The bank collapsed lat late last midnight around 1 a.m. when people were asleep. About 30 houses in the area have been destroyed. Since early morning, people have been trying to block the water flowing using excavator, wood logs, etc. under the supervision of Kurai MLA El Sushindro. Chief Minister N. Birain and IFCD Minister Letbao Haukip also visited the flood hit areas. They are sure that affected people of all possible assistance from the government. Speaking to Impact News, the flood hit people appeal to the departments concerned to take measures without delay. I'm a pot hockey, they're going to punch it. I have a hack, you pull up with the issue. Men talk about Kangde. Imungia, a kaya toy, a manga tadi, yam na yaura kogi. Gorm menamateng dog the palm maker. Awa, don nang lava, jung kate, like from Safan Kangrava, Miami, Manipur Sakana, Ma Pajamo in Awa, Sibu Mateng Pangan Janini, Aduga, and Nayak, Kayasu, Lakaza, Sing Delu in a layer of Vina. Puna Magasivo Manipur Sarkarna, Amasak Marila in the department singna, Awala Payang Bira Gai Kwe Kwai Punamapu, Matiang Bangina Vidamu, Ning Sing Janini. Sang na kuyi, mamang the hogi wa kongreski, uh sasana kui semak trava numara morakanda, a kui the tani a hung hadangai. A do asida kuna kayam sem do inova. Hani pali bakra duna dum uh moi masengi uh manaba kui samsonji, uh infal manun the yang bio kurai and the gumbahariba zaga krasi. Masi yam the swat have never. I do a sonak and the car my gate on the Tawal Gai Sam Sahol Kreva. I don't heck the Gale Bug the Loin Maso the Tada give number Morgan a ho sunak and the ho one and I hiding ever. Meanwhile, the people living near the Imphal River spent sleepless night last night as the river was flowing above the danger level. Residents piled up earth to prevent further damage. Trucks were used to transport earth since last evening. They also used sacks of earth as a temporary measure to prevent further erosion. As of now, banks of the Imphal River are in deplorable condition. Meanwhile, about 100 feet stretch of river bank collapsed at Mayang Imphal Chabung Company. Houses and agricultural fields have been submerged under the water after the collapse of the bank. The flood water has swept away fish from fish farms. People of the area had tried to prevent water logging, but in vain. The areas surrounding Mayang Imphal Bazaar and Uchiva have also been flooded. There is apprehension of Mayang Imphal power station and transmission of All India Radio Imphal being inundated by flood water. A team of National Disaster Management Authority inspected the massive earth cracks at Kali Kola Basti and Kangpokpi district today. Deputy Director of Mission IVA, 
uh, Central Headquarters Geological Survey of India, Dr. K. Jayabalan, who led the team, asserted that the cracks are due to deforestation and digging of ponds to preserve water. The team, consisting of six officers of Geological Survey of India, CWC, CRRI, New Delhi, Landslide and Avalanche Consultants of NDMA, began the inspection this morning around 8. The team also inspected Makuli Kul, where earth cracks developed since yesterday. Seven families of Makuli Kul have been shifted to safer places. The team will also visit another village above Kalikola Basti. Dr. K. Jayabalan said the earth cracks are caused by human error and that the earth is still filled with water. If rain continues, there is an apprehension of earth cracks earth cracks occurring in the neighborhood. He said the team will submit its recommendations to the authority. Members of BRTF and State Disaster Response Force also took part in the inspection. Main causative factors as per the preliminary uh, studies reveals that the one is, is the toe cutting by the existing river course, then is uh, the second is anthropogenic activities. Anthropogenic activities by means of uh, terrace cultivations and the blocking of the existing streams, making a temporary bond, a bond in the higher reaches, that leads to the ex exceeding the threshold limit, that is oversaturation of the existing soil. But today we have observed and we inquired, but further deterioration has not taken place, seems to be stabilized seems to be stabilized. Of course, further uh, studies has to be evaluated. Chief Minister Nong Thombam Birin has appreciated the BJP-led government in the Centre for the Developmental Initiatives taken up under Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Manipur and the rest of the country. Imphal Central and Imphal West District BJP organized an event at Ibudhau Nauting Kong Sanglen in Thangmai Banlai in Hanjaba Laikai to mark the completion of three years of NDA government today. Speaking as the Chief Guest N. Birain appraised the BJP government and cited as examples the suspension of the economic blockade in the state, communal harmony between peoples of the hills and the valley, construction of roads and bridges, as well as various schemes like PMAY, PMUY, which have been taken up under the BJP leadership. The event was participated by several BJP MLAs, parliamentary secretaries, and party leaders. Ihan han benda singa mesti tamani kita merata kaybung kaybung tanah ba nungsi nada nabe tau ramba tu pemagi kongtang ado, ekoi tu gai nabe hana hone. Prime Minister Modi jigi amna nungsi pemagi amna wakalon amna bahasa wakalon. Aiki kerajaan kai dega lori, aiki kerajaan kai pam tu dega lori ni ekoi lakuna tu layba siam dana layba kita perjuat, tu mungkin boleh lakuni ayat tu ni. Sumpah kita kunma tu ikut tu ni ekoi kaba. Nasi biji biji pun nungsi biji dana emeli maya mama sambil rupun nasi ekoi kunthwa sura. इसान लाये न बंग नमज़द बा नौ मगे हाज़रा शुरु का साबा साबी में आम मणिपुर ले ली मधुकुंबा इमोंग सिंह दुगी दमुते दिन अशे खोए ना अशे जेनेरल्स हॉस्पिटल दा आमदी मणिपुर की ले ली बा हॉस्पिटल कुंगतरुक इम्फाल मार्केट टा लुपत्सनी पी बही दाग तो एक वो अताब हम मंडलपा कुंबंगा दा कुंगा फंगन न the Chief Minister termed the present floods in the state as man-made, not a natural calamity. Birin appealed to all those encroachers who have constructed houses, shops, clubs, community halls and river banks to vacate before the government evicts them. He said encroachment on land affecting drainage, dumping of waste materials into drains, construction of houses and other structures in the river banks are responsible for the frequent floods. The Chief Minister reiterated that blaming the government will not solve the problem but every citizen needs to responsibly. He however assured that the government will provide all possible assistance. Lilong dagi na bamo le kai ki thong duwa wai sheng ba horma mene bat. Paja na manung jiteng tokan. Bamo le kai ki matak tu he langkat pa kanda adum school lai ramme. Asidi kwa men ge aribe school ni shopi ke no hai re. Club lai ramme si asidi akwe ki club amata ni shopi no hai re. Karai da nwa bai sing chen doi che. I sing chen ram lai tadi sao bata abani sao rodi thum bata abani ba shi daida sarkar da taina ba ya abra shini da ina hai di. Nong jau laka da wa wali hu jie kwe. Langban ni khom bai na wa shi wali. Madhu da di shoi da bine dum. Adu na adu ki mamang shi da isha isha na gara ga di isha jannari ba club oi gara, panchayat ghar oi gara, school oi gara, adu ki poloi bham oi gara. 
community hall or a like I like I do not send me the not I could get her car you notice laughing either my pump of homes out of the home talk to you I could say car and I should think pangs again I do got to real common joy quitting thing talk no get out of the car by cuts again I seem to be my end up in the game Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan today arrived in Imphal to participate in the 6th and annual conference of Northeast Region Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. She was received by Speaker Yumnan, Yumnam Khemjan at Imphal International Airport. Speaker Sumitra Mahajan will preside over the conference tomorrow, which will be participated by Chairperson of N NERCPA and Meghalaya Speaker A.T. Mondal, Speakers, Deputy Speakers and Legislators of the Northeast States. Now, Education Minister T.H. Radesham today appreciated the contributions of private schools in the state. He also reiterated the need for a private school policy to ensure better performance of every educational institution. The minister was speaking at the felicitation of students of K.M. Blooming Higher Secondary School who excelled in high school leaving certificate examination and higher secondary examination 2017. He also congratulated the toppers of the schools. Kangabog MLA Okram Suraj Kumar and several government officials also attended the event. Now, Manipur observes World Blood Donor Day with the rest of the world today. National Health Mission Manipur and Health Squad have observed the day at Manipur Film Development Society yeah. Auditorium in Palace Compound. Speaking on the occasion, Health Minister L. Jayanta Kumar maintained that nothing is greater than blood donation which can save a person's life. He appealed to the public not to believe in the myth and donate blood to save the lives of the people who need it. Jayanta Kumar also said efforts are on to set up advanced blood banks at each district hospital. Director of Health and Ayush, Dr. K. Lokendro, Additional Director of Health Services, Dr. H. Ranjit, Dr. S. Manikanta and Dr. P. Sham Sundar were among those present at the event. Blood donors were also honoured at the function. How blood is coming together? Intake, you have to move any time to tell upon the copy of the blood. You have to get the technical blood stories. The hand is more technical, but the hand is advanced among the blood being at the Tamatagal. Every district hostel, a queen with the blood being a queen like the Luxelene. Any emergency, Lapuka and a bit of the beginning, I have a Matuki, Matuki mental preparedness, some living topony. Jam Chow on the Topum on the Hobbit, just a queen, a Namjabu level, Tonga Bahavi Department of Honor. As part of the World Blood Donor Day, Shija Blood Bank and Transfusion Services organized a voluntary blood donation camp at its blood bank today. Volunteers including students of Shija Academy of Nursing, staff of Shija Hospitals and others donated 31 units of blood at the camp. Now, All Manipur United Club organization AMUKO today observed the 16th protest day at Kwakaitel. The organization has been observing the day from June 14, 2001 to protest the ceasefire agreement signed between the government of India and NSC and IM in Bangkok, threatening the territorial integrity of Manipur. Speaking at the event, AMUKO President PH Deben said, the day is observed to protest the agreement signed on June 14, 2001 and to mark the unfortunate incident that occurred in the wake of the Bangkok declaration. He asserted that the protest day is observed to preserve the unity and integrity of Manipur. Masi ay koy na pamjari ba sit in protest si anagum makanglub ama purub ama gimayok tanate organisation ng gimayok tanate. Bharat Sarkar na Manipur miyam da Manipur da koy gi divisive policy ma matam sang na dagi sa thadana lai. Without territory limits, Haiba, Nagalan Katanga, Sis Pair Chatner Madu, Manipur Yauna Awang no Poki Mapam Pumna Machatner Padagi, Koshauna Raba Miyamna, Iho Horakpa, Inaki Bato Kibado, Matunga, Amona Taurakta Nabagi the Makta, Nasisi Yamna, Maru even Numit, Amakani, Haidana Amukona, Logeraganda, I could get Ching Tam Mayam, Chingi, Pula Punja Laganda, Assume Labo Protesi, Pankok Seven, Nasigi Numitsi Maru, Eva Katanatana, I think Jun Haiba. Adum Lava Hawaii Kat Kiba, Makwagi Mapanda, Kwe Haile, Amato Arazu Kalaga, Manipur Bukanbada, Makwana Mangin Tab, Kiba Gidamata, Akwana Makwibuning Shingba, Yamna Tangai Pade. 
All set for the second Miamgi Numit People's State CM Secretariat tomorrow, Chief Minister Nongthumbam Birin will meet the public from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tokens will be issued till 12 noon. All the ministers, administrative secretaries, DCs, SDOs and head of the departments will also meet the public at their offices on the day. Now, Education Minister T.H. Radhishyam along with Saikul MLA Yam Thong Haukip yesterday visited Thang Thong Higher Secondary School, Thang Kan Phai and Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyalai Ikau Mula. The minister also attended the felicitation of students of Saikul Block who have passed Class 10th and 12th examinations 2017 and interacted with the teachers and the students. The minister said the government will identify the problems facing the educational institutions and take steps to solve them on priority basis. MLA Yam Thong Haukip stressed the need for a college in Saikul block, which still does not have a college. Chief Minister Nong Thombam Birain will inaugurate the Northeast Healthcare Conference executives of top rung hospitals from across the country are set together at Imphal on the 16th of this month. CEOs and CMDs from the country's top rung hospitals such as Narayana Rudalia, Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences AMRI, Medica Super Speciality Hospital, Mission of Mercy Hospital and Research Center, Vinayaka Mission Super Speciality Hospital, Care Hospitals, Dr. Agarwal's Eye Clinic, Chanok Hospital will gather at the Northeast Healthcare Conference to be organized by the Confederation of India Industry here at the City Convention Center. Now, members of women's self-help groups in Nambol, Bishnupur district stormed the DC office today in protest against removal of NEFSA agents formed by by the groups. The women stormed at the DC office upon hearing that the agents will be changed due to non-distribution of PDS items. A member of the self-help group stated that rice was not distributed as it was not provided to 40 self-help groups which distribute them. Sakana Pirata was saying a quay is Yenana Tragana, a quay selegrumna quay piraga, like I did in Bangam Day, Aduna Sakana Pirata Banaqua Yen Dabani, Sakana Saka, Duna Mangalam Banakang Day, Gada at the Tamibuno Tibiro, Ezenda, Kutanga Sinabiro, Luena, I quay selegrumna, quay singing in the Hiba, Quay Pamjini, Ezen Sinba, Hiba Pamasi, Quay Amata Yaro, a quay selegrupsu, Hajikla Iba, or what passing in chair, Tibiriba, Silina Singna, Ezenda Pibiro, Amadi, a quayda, selegrup the Sinabiro, a quayta sing the Sina Yenzagani. Manipur Road Task Society has appealed to the government to set up a state road task force to enhance restoration, work and protection of roads in the state. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club today, General Secretary of the Society R.K. Ranjit said setting up of a task force will help solve unemployment problems as well. He appealed to the Chief Minister to take up the matter at Cabinet level. Organization Manipur Road Task Society is in the Manipur Sakar Dabi Tokzeri Madhu, the Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nongthom Biriendi Sakara Sina, two Matam Da Yargadi Limit Tereni Manunda, Cabinet Ware Ama Lobiduna, State Road Tax Force Ama Tambiwa. Matam the Ware Lobi Rumatam, the Mamming Hong Giba Yai, Adu Tim D. Road Tax Force Nikatunga, Atete Interdistinct Rollers in Machin for the Yana Matin Matin Ogeni. It's time for us to take a very short break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. Now, Food Safety Wing and Police today conducted drives against tobacco products in Bishnupur district. The police team led by SDPO Binoy and OC Raju Khan seized tobacco products and other products brought from Myanmar via Mori without license. A team of Food Safety Wing also inspected and checked each and every shop and seized huge quantity of tobacco products in Nambol, Ningthokong and Bishnupur towns. The police and Food Safety Wing teams managed to seize products worth 2 lakh rupees during the raids. The seized items were destroyed by setting it on fire at the waste dumping site. Manipur 
A team of Chachanpur police seized foreign liquor and beer bottles worth more than rupees 67,000 during raids in some godowns on Thangjam Road at New Bazar in Chachanpur district. A team of OC, RK, Anil Kumar and women police led by additional SP operation M. Kumarjit seized 243 bottles of Indian-made foreign liquor and 47 beer bottles from three different individuals identified as Abung Singh, Hema Momocha and Pomin Lal Wi-Fi. Cases have been registered against the three. Moral Education Center Eroi Shemba today felicitated scientist Guneshwar Thangjam at its complex in Eroi Shemba. Guneshwar had an interaction with students who attended the program. He motivated the students and encouraged them in their quest for knowledge and learnings. Guneshwar did research on Vesta's compositional heterogeneity at the Max Planck Institute for Solar System in Germany. His research project has been recognized by International Astronomical Union and an asteroid has been named after him as Thangjam. It may be recalled that in 1999, Guneshwar Thangjam backed the 8th position in the state-level science and mathematics competition organized by Moral Education Center. Let's stand against substance abuse. Campaign organized jointly by All Manipur Student Union, AMSO and Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol, Kada, kicked off at Johnstone Higher Secondary School, Imphal, today. But Mishri awardee Dr. Ahebam Jayantu Kumar was the resource person at the event. Desam Imphal East District Council today organized a campaign to plant trees in different schools in connection with World Environment Day. As part of the campaign, which started from Lam Long Kai Thail, a cycle rally was also held in Imphal to spread the message to make the world green by planting trees. Naurim Naubicha, a differently abled person from Uripok Bachaspati Maning Laikai, clarified that he was not involved in the murder of Lucky Priya and Monica from the same locality. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club today, Naubicha said, except for hanging out with the main suspect, Hitler, he had no role in the double murder. He said he has been called twice for interrogation by police, but they released him as he was innocent. It may be mentioned that Kongban... Hitler is in police custody as the main suspect in the double murder which occurred on May 20th. I go to Nibaram, Magi Marando, Nasai Matian Manam Hodabama. I get not a laddie, my Wakanda, I want to toss has it lunch in the bar, Yum Tanabina, eh, Maga Salaga de Mamona Taina, Bina Nava, I can also let the day, Pushu Kanjadeva, man, hardly had this, go on a Puy Wakanda. No, ni ni mulai kan? Oh, macam dress kan? Hobo, pelak berjalan ni, pergi dia nak kalle. Ma tu pada tahun bayi, aiki mangga di, nombi cie di, tahu tu di. Ma HP alam celai, sepan ama tungai. Adun adun nanti nama ayo nak kan tahu dia. Now, combined team of Imphal East Commando, Imphal West Commando and six Assam Rifles arrested a pre-pack cadre late last night. The arrested cadre is identified as Sagol Samnoyon, 52 years son of late Kame from Bamon Kampu Makhalaikai under Irilbung Police Station. He has been handed over to the Irilbung Police Station. Acting on a tip off, a combined team of Imphal West Commando and five JNK rifle arrested an active worker of KCPMC Progressive yesterday morning around 6.30. The PRO Police Department in a press release said the arrested person is identified as 31-year-old Longjam Yaifaba, also known as Nanao and Uremba, son of Longjam Gojao Angumcha from Top Upokpi Makhalaikai. Investigations revealed that he was involved in extortion of money from government officials and general public. A case has been registered at Wangoi police station. Now the filing of nomination for the presidential elections begins today and will continue till the 28th of this month. If needed, the poll will take place on the 17th of next month. The term of President Pranab Mukherjee ends on July 24th.
Now this sports news. AIFFD license course conducted by All Manipur Football Association under the ages of All India Football Federation concluded today. 24 people took part in the course. AFC A license holder L. Chauba Devi was the instructor and TH Ojit coordinator of the course. President of MFA S. Sanatomba, Assistant General Secretary L. Jyotir Moiroy, Treasurer H. Manihar, AIFF Observer and AFC Regional Instructor S. Akendro were among those present at the closing function held at the office of Manipur Olympic Association today. Now, India beat Kyrgyzstan by 1 0 in the AFC Asian Cup qualifier in Bengaluru yesterday. There was very little separating the two teams at the halfway marks as the scoreline remained locked at 0 0. Kyrgyzstan enjoyed most of the position possession but were unable to create enough chances. In the 23rd minute, Jackie Chan Singh was on the clear at the right top edge of the box after being released by Chetri but he was in two minds whether to shoot or pass and wasted a fine move. In the second half, India created a brilliant opportunity when Sunil Chetri ran through the position's midfield to set up an excellent goal for India. Gigi was alert enough to collect the ball cleanly and feed it back to to his skipper who completed the finish. With this result, India are top of Group A with two wins in their top two matches. Now, football legend Diego Maradona is set to visit the soccer-crazy city of Kolkata in September ahead of the FIFA Under-17 World Cup being hosted by India. The Argentine superstar will participate in a charity football match against Kolkata's greatest cricket export and former Indian captain Saurav Ganguly. Colombia's legend footballer Carlos Valderrama, Baichung Bhutia, Kerala's I.M. Vijayan and Joe Paul Anshri along with India's renowned cricketers, footballers and film actors will also participate in the match. Prior to his second visit to Kolkata, Diego Maradona is presenting a pair of football boots with his autograph on it. India's legendary cricketer Saurav Ganguly is to be worn in the state football match. Before we wind up this bulletin, let's have a look at the headlines once again. Imphal river breaches in many areas. People keep vigil throughout night as river, cr rivers cross danger mark. A team of National Disaster Management Authority inspects earth cracks in Kalikola Basti, says deforestation responsible for the cracks. Chief Minister Birin appeals to encroachers on river banks to vacate before government evicts them. And Manipur observes World Blood Donor Day. Health Minister Jayanta Kumar appeals to people to donate blood.